December 16th, Wrestling Before God Take up the whole armor of God, praying always. Ephesians 6, verses 13 and 18 You must learn to wrestle against the things that hinder your communication with God, and wrestle in prayer for other people, but to wrestle with God in prayer is unscriptural. If you ever do wrestle with God, you will be crippled for the rest of your life. If you grab hold of God and wrestle with Him as Jacob did simply because He is working in a way that doesn't meet with your approval, you force Him to put you out of joint. See Genesis 32 verses 24 and 25. Don't become a cripple by wrestling with the ways of God, but be someone who wrestles before God with the things of this world, because we are more than conquerors through Him. Romans 8 verse 37. Wrestling before God makes an impact in His kingdom. If you ask me to pray for you and I am not complete in Christ, my prayer accomplishes nothing. But if I am complete in Christ, my prayer brings victory all the time. Prayer is effective only when there is completeness. Take up the whole armor of God. Always make a distinction between God's perfect will and His permissive will, which He uses to accomplish His divine purpose for our lives. God's perfect will is unchangeable. It is with His permissive will, or the various things that He allows into our lives, that we must wrestle before Him. It is our reaction to these things allowed by His permissive will that enables us to come to the point of seeing His perfect will for us. We know that all things work together for good to those who love God. Romans 8 verse 28 To those who remain true to God's perfect will, His calling in Jesus Christ. God's permissive will is the testing He uses to reveal His true sons and daughters. We should not be spineless and automatically say, Yes, it is the Lord's will. We don't have to fight or wrestle with God, but we must wrestle before God with things. Beware of lazily giving up. Instead, put up a glorious fight, and you will find yourself empowered with His strength.